Now let's unbox the second ukulele. Ito naman yung box niya. This is also a concert size. Donner sent me two concert size and one tenor. So open natin. Yeah, meron din siya accessories. Nahalos kapareho nung DUC 200. It has a different bag. Ito yung kanina. Plain black with Donner logo. And ito naman, meron siyang orange border. Tapos may Donner logo din na may puno. It has a front pocket. And it's fairly padded as well. And this one, it has two straps para pwede mo siyang gawing backpack. Dalawa. And meron din siyang handle dito sa side. So, let's open it. Mm. Unlike the other one, na nabubuksan siya fully hanggang sa dulo. It opens fully. The second bag, halfway lang. So, sa taas, na-open siya fully. Sa baba, halfway lang. So, hindi siya ganun na-open. Check muna natin yung bag. So, medyo mas makapal yung black kesa dito. Hindi siya ganun kakapal. But still, it's padded. Okay, dito na tayo sa iyo kalala. This is the DUC 100 Concert Ukulele. Ayan. Hmm, ganda. Ganda din yan. Kapareho nung una, it also has a maintenance instructions, chord chart, and Aquila logo, and it also used Super Nile Gut na strings. So, magandang klase pa rin siya. Let's remove this one. Ang ganda. Okay. Punta muna tayo sa headstock. Traditional headstock din yung design. Meron siyang logo ng Donner dito. Which is different kasi ito, yung logo niya, ganito. Parang merong musical note sa Donner. While this one, nakasulat lang yung Donner na logo. This is also a concert size which means 23 to 24 inches siya. The color is brown or wood color. It's also made from African mahogany wood sa top, sa side, sa back, and sa neck ng ukulele. The fretboard and the bridge are made of rosewood. Tapos kung mapapansin nyo yung bridge, iba yung design niya dun sa DUC 200. This is what you call the slotted bridge. Ito yung kanina. It's the traditional Thai bridge. Yung nakikita yung tali dito. It's the traditional Thai bridge. This one, ang neat niyang tignan because it's the slotted bridge. Nakatago yung strings. Mm, ganda. Also, the knot and the saddle are made from real cattle bone. Yung sinabi ko rin kanina. Hindi siya plastic. The strings are Aquila Super Nile Gut. It also has 18 frets and it has fret markers on the 5th, 7th, 10th, and 12th fret. Yung kanina meron pa sa 15th tsaka 17th fret. Ito hanggang 5, 7, 10, hanggang 12th fret lang yung may markers. And it also has markers dito sa taas. 5th, 7th, 10th, and 12th fret. It has a rope design sa kanyang sound hole. Tapos yung logo niya sa loob, unlike the other one which is engraved, ito parang yung sinasabi kong sticker lang sa loob. It also has a closed geared open window tuning pegs. Kagaya nung nauna. And ang ganda niya talaga, promise. It also has a strap holder dito. So pwede mo rin siyang lagyan ng strap. Yung neck niya, it has the traditional C-shape, pero mas mataba, mas makapal siya. So, medyo mahirap siyang 
wala siya sa tono. Medyo mahirap siyang i-grip. Compared to this na payat, mas manipis yung neck. This one, the DUC100 has a thicker neck than the blue one. Itong Oscar ko, payat din kasi. So, parang natabaan ako dito. <laughs> okay. Set aside muna natin yung uke. Now, let's go to the accessories included. Donner ukulele strap. Ah, meron din siyang strap. And, iba siya. Ibang color. Ito yung kanina. Na very colorful. With Donner logo. This one, I think it matches. Kasi my orange lining. Tapos ito, may orange and black din. Wala siyang Donner logo. Pero, it's from Donner. Kasi may Donner yung box. Kabit natin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm cute. Okay, so it's nothing. So this is the strap. Now let's go through the other accessories. It also has a Donner tuner, clip-on tuner. It also has another set of Donner strings, which is the same dun sa una. It's clear fluorocarbon. So, parang ganun siya sa kanina. Another set of picks. Guitar picks pa din. Thank you card. And the uh, cleaning cloth also. Sa natin yung tuner. And lagyan natin ng battery. Itono natin yung uke. Ngayon naman, subukan natin yung tunog. Napansin ko, naririnig yung mid-tone or yung low tone dun sa bawat chord. Kasi, subukan natin to. Ito kasing Oscar, medyo mas warm yung tunog niya. I'll play this one para lang marinig nyo yung difference ng pinutukoy ko doon sa mid-tone or yung low tone. Balik tayo sa Donner. Narinig niyo yung difference? Gusto ko siya. Kasi parang nasanay ako masyado sa mataas na warm tone ng ukulele. So parang bago ito sa akin ngayon na naririnig ko yung mababang tone nung sound. Naririnig ko lahat yung tunog, which is good. Ang ganda. Maganda rin yung sustain niya. Pakinggan nyo. Medyo mahaba din yung sustain. Sustain yung tagal ng 
pag-stay niya doon sa note na yun. Diba? Ang haba. Amazing. Ang ganda. When it comes to feel, maayos din yung pagkagawa because it doesn't have sharp ends dito sa kanyang frets. So smooth din yung neck niya. Well filed. And when it comes to action, medyo mataas. Hindi ko alam kung nakikita nyo. Pero medyo mataas. Gaya nga ng sinabi ko, kapag mataas siya, mas mahirap siyang pindutin. Compared to this one, mas mababa. Low action. Ito, hindi masyadong low action. Medyo mataas. Medyo mataas. When it comes to craftsmanship, pulido din yung gawa, in fairness. You can see the wood grains. Kitang-kita mo lahat ng design ng kahoy. Maayos. Tsaka favorite ko talaga itong closed geared open window tuners. Ang ganda niya, ha? Nga pala, pagbago ang ukulele, normal lang yon na mabilis siyang mawala sa tono. So, mayat maya ka talaga magtutono. You have to give the strings time para ma-stretch. So, give it like days, minsan weeks, minsan nga months, bago siya mag-stay in tune for a longer period of time. So, that's it for this Donner DUC 100 Concert Ukulele.